everyone it's Ross and today we're gonna to be looking at the greenhouse um, we are watering the greenhouse today uh, you can see I've got the, the hose over here we turned on the water um, and we watered all the pots in the greenhouse this is the first time that I had watered my dormant figs or my dormant pomegranates um, how was I able to do this well mulch I really well mulch every single one of these pots also, the heater really didn't have to run all that much this winter time. Um, we have just turned on the heater to really wake things up. You can see it looks like a bit of a jungle in here now, which is really awesome to see. But you can also see some of the leaves down here look real floppy, really need some water. Even this pomegranate here really needed some water. So today is March 24th. That's the first day of the year that I needed to water these since I put them in. I put them in here um, just before Thanksgiving. So from Thanksgiving to March 24th, they did not need a single drop of water. Um, really is a testament though to this mulch. It really does make a difference. Put on lots of mulch. We're gonna be taking actually a lot of it off just so I can warm up the soil a bit faster. And then once things get really warm, we're gonna put that back on, really help conserve that moisture, also increase our fruit quality too. So there's a lot of benefits to that mulch. Um, I also wanna mention that with our hose, we're not trying to water the leaves, even though on this particular one I did because it seemed to have needed it the most, um, or if it was unavoidable. And what I wanted to do is really water these plants that are on the top layer. You can see that we have, you know, pots like three or four stacked high. So all the ones on the top level, these are the ones getting hit by the sun the most. And these are the ones that are getting dried out the most. Also the ones that are direct in direct contact with the flow of the heater. The heater sits here and that flow goes directly in that direction so uh, we really want to make sure that we're getting the ones especially in the front but I've had years where I didn't come in here in, in time to water these things especially these ones in the top layer and they didn't make it through the ones in the bottom have so much moisture in them to this day that I probably won't have to water them until I take them out um, the reason for that is because they're just not getting dried out they really are not um, we have lots of mulch on top of them because now we have an entire pot, <laughs> an entire pot of soil and mulch on top of the trees. So we really don't have to water the ones in the bottom. I wouldn't really pay too much attention to them. What you really want to do is to really try to get the ones in the back. If you're doing this in a crazy way as I am, where you've got so many things in here, um, you know, it's really important to get all of them on the top layer or any of them that are getting hit by the sun, which includes the ones on the sides here, the ones on this side here, even though they're on the bottom, I need to water those, and the ones on the back. So it's super, super important. Um, if I were to sort of do this again, I would put a lot of the taller trees. You can see I've got some pomegranates that are hitting the top here, the roof. That's not too good for their growth. But also we've got some fig trees like this guy here, which is hitting the roof. And when he leaps out, which he already has, he's gonna be growing into the roof. And that's, I mean, I guess it's just not ideal, you know? But um, other than that, I think we've done a really nice job keeping everything alive in here this year. Uh, it really is a bit of work to keep this stuff alive. And, you know, it can get a little overwhelming at times, but this year, for some reason, we were on it. And nothing, it seems to be, is dead. Everything just got a nice little drink of water. This is just a nice little reminder for those of you guys who are doing this just like I am, that this is kind of what you guys need to do. Um, so we woke these up sometime around March 4th is really when we started to kick that heater on. A lot of them woke up around the 8th or the 9th of March. So about, I would say about three weeks after that, that's when we're coming in here and watering them. Um, that's how long it took, really, for these, these pots to dry out. Alright. Anyway, guys. 
that is the video. Hope to uh, ha hope everyone has a great season because mine is looking great with this head start that I'm getting here. Really gonna have some late varieties ripen much earlier in the year. So, all right, guys, take care. Catch you soon.